There's a lot of disruption in the world today. How can you come up with app concepts that will be relevant to today's problems? We're looking at app ideas from periodicals. My name is Dale Richards. I'm a software product innovator in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I love building software that changes the world. I like to read The Economist. That's just one news source that I like to go to, especially around what's going on in the world, how global economic conditions are changing, and how they may impact opportunities in the industry in the future. So what I've done here is I've opened up my subscription to The Economist, and uh, I'm reading this article about the COVID-19 pandemic and about how it will affect industry. And I found a paragraph here that I um, thought was particularly insightful. So. The job of boards, meaning corporate boards, is not just to keep afloat, but also to assess long-run prospects. The crisis is set to amplify three trends. Boom, The Economist is going to tell me three major world problems. First, a quicker adoption of new technologies. The planet is having a crash course in e-commerce, digital payments, and remote working. Uh, so that's those are some areas right there. So e-commerce, digital payments, remote working. More medical innovations beckon, including gene editing technologies. Second, global supply chains will be recast, speeding the shift since the trade war began. Firms will seek bigger safety buffers and a critical mass of production close to home using highly automated factories. Cross-border business investment could drop by 30 to 40 percent this year. Global firms will become less profitable but more resilient. Let's go ahead and start with the supply chains. So global supply chains will be recast, speeding the shift since the trade war began. Let's see. Firms will seek bigger safety buffers and critical mass of production close to home using highly automated factories. So let's go ahead and say the problem or opportunity statement is that um, companies need to automate manufacturing uh, at home rather than abroad. Uh, and then also uh, there need to be new opportunities to automate factories. So let's go ahead and say we want some kind of a factory automation suite. Uh, a description, this is um, software that easily integrates with a variety of devices to automate um, production and mm, let's say to automate and measure production. Now, obviously, I'm starting to get into kind of the Internet of Things, uh, and that's okay. Uh, you'd be surprised, actually, at how easy it is to find someone who can engineer uh, a device or to find, actually, third-party devices that already exist and to repurpose them for a specific application. So let's not limit ourselves by saying, oh, that would require, uh, you know, some kind of third-party hardware or, or some kind of Internet of Things integration. That's okay. Let's go ahead and just capture the ideas. Again, no judgments. The user persona, let's see, this could be valuable to um, a production manager or director. Could be helpful to a finance manager, director. Uh, the source, we got this from The Economist. I'm gonna head, go ahead and just actually paste the URL in here. All right, that's one idea from this one, art, one paragraph from one article. Now in the interest of time, I won't make you watch me capture the next idea from the same paragraph, but basically I've captured another software concept called predictive inventory management that uses uh, AI and new sources of information to help uh, create a smarter inventory management experience. All right, so I have gleaned two software ideas from this one paragraph from one article in The Economist. I'm sure there are lots of other ideas in the same article, uh, in other articles in the same issue, or in other issues. So. Amazing. All right, you can find lots of software concepts even just reading the news. Now, you may notice that these ideas are not necessarily in industries uh, or in disciplines that like I am a master of. I and mean, that's okay. You don't have to be an expert in a particular industry or field to create a successful product. What you do need to do is get access to the people that are experts in that field so that you can get input and feedback on your ideas. So again, no judgment, just put the ideas down we can cross them out later if they're invalid. Totally okay. Okay, if you haven't already done so, make sure you join the Facebook group, How to Build an MVP Build Your SaaS. We'll see you there and we'll see you next time. All right, talk to you soon.